to try the Baker Street uh, Baker Street and Peppermint Bar. I have a really bad migraine. It's um, a really bad cycle. We're supposed to get a thunderstorm tonight and it's supposed to possibly snow. Who knows? But um, I'm going to try. These are, this bar is actually um, in a broken half and doubled itself. So, um, but each one of these, it's, there's only four pieces in this one, whereas the Go Bar has five. So each one of these squares is actually 2.5 milligrams rather than just two milligrams. I don't know if I can to unstick it. And same with this other bar. You can also see it says Baker Street on it, which is kind of neat. And then it has the grams at the bottom here. You can see, I know it's backwards, but it says 2.5 milligrams which is kind of neat, um, so you know the actual dosage. I'm going to start with one, just because it is a higher dose again, um, so we'll give it a shot and see. Hopefully it does something. Um, because I have a really bad migraine right now, I'm wearing my, um, my vape necklace, or it's not a vape necklace, it's an oil necklace. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Migraine talk. Um, but I, I wear peppermint oil in it, um, and it helps me just with the nausea and things. Um, so hopefully the peppermint will help too, we'll see. Oh, it's good. Similar to the Go Bar, um, but it's got a peppermint to it as well. That's nice. I do use Baker Street for sleep normally because it is an indica um, flower. It's one of my go-tos. It has been since I started using um, cannabis. Uh, I do use it generally just for sleep. So this is another way of trying Baker Street without having to smoke, that, which is kind of cool. I don't know if it'll make me tired or not. I don't have anywhere to go at night, so. It's okay, but I'll keep you posted on how I'm feeling. dinner um still not really feeling anything from the baker street so i am going to try a second piece to see if that helps if that makes any difference so this is a 2.5 milligram square Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half, two hours almost. Um, I just had dinner and I'm not having any effects really from the Baker Street bar. These ones again are two and a half milligram squares each of the Peppermint Baker Street bar. Yeah, 2.5 milligrams, it says it right there. Um, so this is bar two, about an hour and a half in. So I'm not feeling anything, so we're gonna try the second one. Feel as good as the first time. Peppermint is yummy. Keep your posture on the effects. It just so happens that today I am sporting my Tweed TSX shirt. Anyways, um, so I tried the Baker Street Peppermint Bar last night. I did two squares. I ended up doing it about one square, which is 2.5 milligrams. I did it 
um, about an hour apart and I didn't really find any effects at all. I've been kind of, um, I think I've been really reserved in my dosing just because I'm so nervous about it even though I have a high tolerance to it so I should probably be working with it at a little higher um, amount to see if I can get a better effect out of it. So today I'm going to just go for it and do the whole peppermint bar. Um, so it's a full 10 grams. I don't have anywhere to be tonight. Um, it's about it's just about seven o'clock. So it is an indica bar, which indica normally does make me fall asleep. And um, I do use the Baker Street as a sleep aid anyways. So um, we'll see if this puts me to sleep, makes me awake, if I get any other feeling from it, but this is what it looks like um, coming out of the package. And then as you can see, the full bar is here. So it's 10 grams each square. There's four grams in the package. Each square is 2.5 grams. Um, and it's really cute. It says it right on the bar itself. But I'm just gonna go ahead and I've got some apples here. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my chocolate bar. And um, <clears throat> sit by the fire and get some work done. So we'll see if it helps. It's not raining still, but it was raining all morning. We had a really bad thunderstorm last night. I've been migrating. Um, we tend to, um, like, as the weather progresses, the more my body starts to feel it just because it's like so tired and worn. It was a long cycle and that's happening, happening for multiple days in a row. It's a lot of my system make it really dehydrated from throwing up and stuff. So hopefully this will help um, keep the fluids in me, keep me eating things even though I don't really feel like eating. Um, so we'll see if it works or not. <laughs> I did end up having to go to treatment today to get another one of these so I could try a full bar all at once. <laughs> Obviously didn't get enough of it at first. Even the puppy's interested. You can have it. You see? Not for you. You want an apple? You can have an apple. There you go. <sighs> Gotta share. Here you go, Bashi. Gotta be fair, give them both one. No, this is a peppermint bar. And it does actually taste like peppermint. It's very similar to the Go chocolate. As far as um, consistency, texture, and like the milkiness of it, I find. And once again, it is also gluten free. I have checked um, the packaging, the manufacturing. I've called them to double check. And it's good. It's like 100% gluten free. So I'm proud of that. That's that's really good. This is what I work with every day. Hi. Hey. Those are my apples.
first full chocolate bar. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm about an hour and a half or so into a full uh, Baker Street peppermint chocolate bar, uh, 10 milligrams. This is my first time taking a whole chocolate bar at once. <laughs> Um, and I'm still not really feeling super different. I am hungry, that's for sure. I've been munching, I feel like I want to snack more. I don't feel like I want to throw up badly, which is a good thing. Um, but I don't feel high or really sleepy at all, which is nice. I guess I feel kind of comfortable and relaxed. No real pain right now, um, which is kind of cool. Because I was, I was having stomach pain earlier. Um... That's about it so far. I don't, yeah, I don't really feel super different other than like just a little bit numb, but not really, I'm not really getting like a buzz out of it or anything. Like I don't feel any different. Um, I don't even really feel um, like tingly or not that I can think, not that I can't think straight. I feel very fine pretty well right now. So I don't really see a difference yet. Other than the fact that I'm hungry and I don't feel like I want to throw up so badly, which is always a bless in my books. <laughs> okay, so I'm about two hours into my Baker Street bar, the full one. Um, and like I said, I still don't really feel too, too much. Um, I don't have a high feeling out of it. I feel very... Um, like no pain, which is nice. And I've been hungry, like I wanna munch. I'm like just constantly wanting to like eat something, which is nice, it's helpful for me to <laughs> gain weight and things, um, especially with a migraine cycle. So, so far so good. Uh, I had my husband try, he's not a super, he doesn't have a very high tolerance to this kind of stuff, um, but he did try a half of a square. So we'll see how it affects him. Um, as opposed to the full bar with me. <laughs>